it's I week. And this week we're learning a unit of measurement called inches. We're gonna learn how to measure things by inches. This book that I'm going to read to you is today is called Inch by Inch by Leo Leone. What do you notice on the cover of this book? What do you see? You see some grass? Some flowers? What's this little guy? This is an inchworm. He's our main character in our story, the inchworm. This is not part of the story, but this is an award, a medal, that Leo Leone won because this is such a good book. He got a medal for this book, and it's on the cover of this book. Inch by inch. Let's read our story. One day, a very hungry robin saw an inchworm green as an emerald sitting on a twig. He was about to gobble him up. He was going to gobble him up. That means he was going to eat him our main character already. Oh dear. Don't eat me. I'm an inchworm. I am useful. I measure things. Is that so, said the robin. Then measure my tail. That's easy, said the inchworm. One, Two, three, four, five. Five inches. Huh. An inchworm is one inch long. Five inches is how long the tail is. Just think, said the robin, my tail is five inches long. And with the inchworm, he flew to where the other birds needed to be measured. The inchworm measured the neck of the flamingo. Whoa, that's a long neck. That must take a long time. He measured the toucan's beak. The legs of the heron. is very useful. The tail of a pheasant. Pheasant is another bird. And the whole hummingbird. Hummingbirds are so little. One morning, the nightingale met the inchworm. Measure my song, said the nightingale. But how can I do that, said the inchworm. I measure things, not songs. Measure my song or I'll eat you for breakfast, said the nightingale. Then the inchworm had an idea. I'll try, he said. Go ahead and sing. Hmm. I wonder what the inchworm is going to do. Can't measure a song. Hmm. What do you think? Let's find out. The nightingale sang and the inchworm measured away. Measured away. What does that mean? And he measured and he measured and measured. He's getting away. Inch by inch. Until he was out of sight. Measured far away. The end.
Wow, what a smart inchworm. You see the inchworm? It's, I'm going to use my ruler. You have a ruler in your packet. And I'm going to measure how long is this inchworm. <gasps> Look, you always start at the zero. And you measure how long that inchworm is. And look, he's one inch long. That's how he was able to measure how long the birds were. Except that song. Let's look at a ruler again. You have a ruler like this in your packet. You can also look at a ruler with your thumb. See where your thumb is? And see where the bend of your thumb is? That's about one inch long too. Minus Mrs. W's nail. See that? Whenever you're not sure how big an inch worm, an inch is, it's about that big. It's about that big. Is this an inch? No. It's about that big. Put your thumb right there. Check it out. Try that with your thumb. That's an inch. Hmm. Uh, let's measure Mrs. W's nose. How long is my nose? Let's measure it. Remember, we start at we start with a zero, go to the top of the nose, and measure to the bottom of the nose. How long is my nose? It is one, zero, one, two inches long. Hmm. Let's go back to that toucan. I'm gonna find the toucan in here, and we'll see how long. Whoa, what do you think? Is the toucan's beak, his nose, Bigger or smaller than my nose? Which one do you think? Hmm? Which one's which one's bigger? Hmm? No. You think his is bigger? Let's measure it and find out. We can use our ruler. Remember, we start at the one, at the beginning of the beak, and we go all the way to the end, all the way over, and we look and let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. His beak is eight inches long. How long was my beak? My nose? <laughs> my nose is two, and the toucan's nose was eight. So whose nose is bigger? The toucan's nose. Are there things around the house that we can measure? I think so. Uh, how about a pencil? Do we just put it down anywhere? Where do we start? We start at the zero and we can measure our pencil. Looks like our pencil is about seven inches long. Hmm. All week long, you're gonna have some worksheets from Mrs. W of things that you can measure. You can measure around your house. You can have a scavenger hunt to measure things or you can measure with your worksheets. Measuring is fun. I hope you have fun. Bye.